Okay, I'm going to show some recent improvements to the device and then do some old fashioned video feedback light herding. That's a dog. Of course, the whole thing is made out of maple, mahogany. Parts like this were CNC router cut. This two maple insert in there. But uh, recently I replaced the wooden rods with these anodized aluminum tubes and replaced the aluminum tube that they go through with these eye glide plastic bearings that are very slippery. So the whole thing slides much easier. Although it does kind of have a stick from a dead standstill. So I am going to look at some ball bearing solution. The wooden linear motion transfer parts with a piece of tape on either side to catch the motion are replaced with these radial bearings that have much less friction and zero dead zone as they move back and forth. And there's this maple handle on the tiller. This is a new switcher here so now there are four video switchers and improved camera mounts doesn't have those ugly wooden things anymore there's a new a7s3 here with improved autofocus uh, these are both hardwired in for power these are the two monitor structures these are all hd monitors that have hue brightness contrast knobs that can all be controlled over here and the input buttons for each one of these determine what goes on each one of these screens the camera looks through the teleprompter glass here and sees one monitor and sees the reflection of the other monitor in the glass. That creates a fractal or this kind of organic shape here. And uh, this side is a feedback loop. This side is a feedback loop. Each monitor can be moved up and down like this. This monitor can be moved in and out or flipped around. And the feedback loop on the right side here can be moved over using the switcher or the button or the foot pedal. That makes this feedback pattern influence this feedback pattern. And the same thing can be done over here where this feedback pattern can be put into feedback on this side by pushing this button or this foot pedal affecting this switcher. You can also get an input from the phone here. So it's on the monitor over there to the right being seen by that camera. And if I push this button, that input goes into feedback which you can see over here going into feedback. And this is what the new switcher does. When I push this button here, or this foot pedal, changes the input on this new switcher. It changes from the phone input to what's seen on this camera here. And this switcher makes everything from this side see that side, and that side see this side, creating a feedback loop between everything, creating all sorts of crazy, strange patterns. But now I've turned down this monitor and I'm gonna do some old fashioned video feedback, light herding, just between this camera and this monitor, just like the old days. The idea is to use these knobs here to keep things in balance between going to darkness and going to, to brightness and to very gently finesse things to create interesting patterns that take very, very slight movements and tiny, tiny little movements on the brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation. And it's kind of wanna keep a run going for as long as possible. So now, some light herding.
under the leaves the swallow is resting
Witness the man who raves at the wall Making the shape of his question to have fun Set the controls for the heart of the sun.